The Eagles have gone on a winning streak. Our game of the week goes to Kingsburg at BCHS. Eagles running onto the field looking for a hot start. Darren Carr wants that too from his team and they do it on defense. Jet Jackson, Forrest Kingsburg mishandles the snap and Ben Urasek is all over this one. This turnover would set up a play later for this. Jacob Moran hits Keontae Glinton who dives in for the end zone. It's 7-0 Bakersfield Christian. The Eagles were doing it on defense too. Jordan Phillips here with the big sack. And then we're going to take this to the second quarter. Ball back in Moran's hands. That was a good thing all night long. He hits Glinton for a short pass who makes a big play out of this one. Juking and breaking tackles and ankles all the way down. <laughs> Glinton's in for his second touchdown of the night. It's 14-0 Eagles. And big play on special teams here as well. Alex Wallace. The third, he's going to get the ball off this punt, and look what he does. We're going to have to speed this one up just to keep up with him. He's going to bring it right back into Kingsburg territory, and this would lead to a Dante Harris touchdown later. The Eagles soar past the Vikings 28-7, to and they will take on San Joaquin Memorial in the finals next week. Let's hear from their coach. It's 15, 16, 17-year-old kids out here, high emotions, high, high testosterone running around trying to play inside rules, you know, so it's it's tough, man. But super proud of them. You know, we, we practice, we push them hard to be in those types of situations. You know, we try and push their buttons to see what they look like when they get to the, to the ledge. Um, and they did a good job. Our other local team getting to host in the semis is also our only top seed in the county, and that would be the undefeated Shafter Generals. That's right, the Generals going for a few records tonight, too, trying to go 12-0 and for the first time in school history. And quarterback Alex Aguilar trying to set the central section record for touchdowns. Generals got off to a quick start in this one. Aguilar, he's going to fake the handoff here and then take it to the outside. He does it really with everything, with his legs, with his arm here. He does it with his legs. First of all, a few touchdowns on the night for Aguilar. Shafter up 7 to nothing. Still in the first, Damien Hernandez. For Woodlake finds Brian Cuevas in the corner. Good catch by Cuevas. This two-point conversion makes it 7-6. to six. General's offense been prolific all season long. Continued tonight. Pedro Avila takes the handoff and goes up the gut to make it 14-6. to six. Joe Perucci likes that. Then in the second, Aguilar finds Jackson. Sanchez. Sanchez does the rest. Gets to the outside here. Nice move there. Gets the defender to slide. That extends Shafter's lead to 21-6. to six. And here it is. In the third quarter, Aguilar keeps the ball himself. Dives into the end zone. This is his central section record, 63rd touchdown of the year. The Generals keep their undefeated season rolling, beating Woodlake 60 to 32. They'll play the winner of Brothers and Kennedy for the D5 Valley title. Well, those highlights coming up just a bit later. But now it's time to turn our t attention to Division One, where both of our teams are playing underdog against the top two teams in the Valley. Good stuff. Number one Central hosting number four Bakersfield, and number two Buchanan hosting number two Liberty. But the Drillers and the Patriots are riding some momentum into these playoffs. Yes, they are. And we're going to start this off with Liberty and Buchanan. The Patriots looking to avenge their lone loss on the season to the Bears back in week four. Skip to the fourth. Liberty down two with under two minutes to play. Hector Gonzalez finds Sammy Stewart Jr. down the middle to put the Patriots inside Buchanan. Cannon territory. The Patriots in field goal range with three seconds left. Braden Blevins with the biggest kick of his life and he nails it. The 26 yard field goal and Liberty walks off a winner. The Patriots pull off the huge win 24 to 23 and punch their ticket to the Division I title game. It's an incredible finish. The Drillers looking for another D1 section title run themselves. They took on top seeded Central Grizzlies, who they lost to you, remember, in the semis last year. First quarter, Drillers down 7 0. Cam Williams with the keeper here. 34 yard touchdown. Looks back at the defender and says <laughs> goodbye. Taunting. Yeah. <laughs> Ties the game up at 7 at seven apiece. Mr. Driller, he likes that. Doing the flag. Late first quarter, Central quarterback Trent Tompkins, who has just been unbelievable, but he's sacked by Keontae Bell. Still doing it on both sides of the ball all year long. Game tied at 7 after 1. Second quarter, same score. Drillers on the move. Isaac Jernigan on the move. 56-yard run. He would not get into the end zone, but he would take it to the Grizzlies. Four. A couple plays later, sets it up for Wesley Wilson on the touchdown. The Drillers lead 14-7. to We said Tompkins has had an unbelievable year. Central's offense wakes up on, on, on their side of things in the second half. Grizzlies outlast the Drillers, beating them 46-34, to setting the stage for a Liberty and Central D1 title game next week. Yeah, a bit of a heartbreaker there for the Drillers, but we're excited to see some of our teams move on. But, of course, we still have plenty of action. A lot to get to. <laughs> so stay with us, guys, because coming up, the Kennedy Thunder Thunderbirds put to the test against another undefeated team. Could they pull out the big win against Carruthers? Plus, did Wasco Cinderella run continue in Division Four sectionals? We'll find out. Twenty three ABC and I are releasing a cookbook recipes to the rescue just in time for the holiday season. There is a recipe for everyone in this cookbook from local favorites like Derek and David Carr, 
Congressman Kevin McCarthy and all the anchors at 23 ABC, they are sharing their favorite recipes. You can find a link to pre-order the cookbook on our website, turn to 23.com, and we'd love for you to attend our cookbook launch party on December 10th at The Mission. Again, you can find all that information on turn to 23.com. Welcome back to Friday Night Live. People look cold, and let me tell you, we all were cold out there. <laughs> we're going to get back to the football. The Stockdale Mustangs have been on a roll after upsetting Tulare Western 16-15 to last week and to earn them a spot in the semifinals and a face for Getty on the coast this week. And the Warriors wasted little time taking control in the opening minutes. Rigetti's Brandon Giddings hits Chase Reynoso with a 30-yard touchdown pass. This puts Rigetti up 7 to nothing. ensuing kickoff the ball bounces off Brandon Dunn and is recovered by the Warriors. The field position later turns into another Rigetti score. The Warriors lead 14 to nothing, but in the second quarter, Stockdale finds some momentum. Evan Burkhart to Deontay Davidson for a good yard deep in Rigetti territory, but the drive would stall and the Mustangs look for a field goal, but the kick is deflected. The ball sails right. A great run for the Mustangs ends in the semis as Rigetti goes on to beat the Stockdale Mustangs 21 to nothing. Now to Division 4, the Wasco Tigers. Last week, they shocked top-seeded Porterville with a 20-7 win. This week, the Tigers headed to Visalia to take on the Golden West Trailblazers. Wasco is going to look to get things going early in this one. Quarterback Jacob Villanueva is going to be behind center, and he runs one in for the touchdown here. Wasco first on the board, 7 to nothing. Golden West quarterback says, I can do a two-pass in Sanders, but he's going to hand it off to sophomore Michael Wessel. Also takes in for the touchdown to tie game 7-7 in the second quarter. The Trailblazers with the ball again. Sandry this time he's going to use his arm throws deep to Jose Ramos. Ramos comes down with the ball. The Trailblazers go on to win 
26-7. Wasco's Cinderella run comes to an end. In Division 5, the Kennedy Thunderbirds looking to take down Carruthers, the other undefeated team in the division. Handoff here to Tyreek Walker. A big senior breaks free for the touchdown for Kennedy. Earns some fist bumps from his coach after that big play. we got to see that later. The incredible effort from the Blue Raiders quarterback to stay up. Pass would be tipped. This is intercepted by Isaac Via Via Lobos, the band would love this pick. He gets it in the end zone. Big play there. But yeah, let's give the band some love for what he's doing. Walker, though, is going to get the ball again. This one comes in later, almost walks into the end zone, untouched for six. The Thunderbirds roll past Carruthers, beating the Blue Raiders 73 to 19, setting up a huge rematch with the Shafter Generals for the Division 5 title. So the really exciting, Brandon, to see those two teams get back together. We almost had Liberty and Bakersfield, but we didn't get that one. <laughs> we'll take it. It'll be fun. Yeah, and top three on 23 when we return. Of course, the best plays of the night. Stay tuned. Now let's take a look at some of those championship matchup, matchups happening next week in Division One. After an incredible win over Buchanan, Liberty will take on top-seeded Central on the road. In Division Three, number two BCHS will take on top-seeded San Joaquin Memorial up the 99. And over in Division Five, we have our home teams—a rematch between familiar foes, top-seeded Shafter Generals taking on the Kennedy Thunderbirds. 
Really excited for those That's going to be fun. <laughs> yeah, then we're going to have some top plays, and it's going to be really cool to see our teams going at it again. Yes, but before we get there, let's get to the top three on 23, our favorite time of the night. We're going to start here with the third play, and or, and that's going to be uh, Shafter's Alex Aguilar faking out the defense that he shows off his legs to score a touchdown. We see him do it week in, week out, but this set a new central section record with 63 touchdowns. Congratulations to him. Fun yes. to watch. Number two goes to BCHS and Jacob Moran. Moran is going to find Deontay Glinton here, who makes big use of a short pass. Goes all the way down for an Eagles touchdown. Nice moves by Glinton on this run as they head to the D3 championship. And the top play of the night, Liberty's Braden Blevins with the boot, kicking the Patriots into the finals of the D1 Central section playoffs. Brandon, what do they always say? Kickers matter too. Absolutely. We had to give him some love. <laughs> Biggest kicker. Look how happy he is. I know. That, that's he's a, he's a sophomore. Yes, exciting that's moment nuts. for Liberty and all of our teams. We got four teams moving on next week, so that was a big deal from what they saw last year. No teams making it to the championship. So, yeah, that will do it, though, for us for Friday Night Live. We will see you next week.